congratulations to Chicago's very own Barack Obama, our nation's 44th president. And hello again, everybody. Mark Sapelsa back at the nation's capital as we get ready for the inauguration parade. I've got a shot from atop the Tribune uh, building here, looking down from F Street, three blocks over to Pennsylvania Avenue. The crowds are terrific. They've got to be, yeah, you know, three, four, five, six deep, and that's probably good on a very, very chilly day here in D.C. All this stuff started George Washington marching from uh, his home in Mount Vernon to New York City back then with his first inauguration, picking up local militia along the way in each and every town as he marched forward. Hence, we've got the inauguration parade. Uh, picking up in this parade will be a couple of locals who are very fun to watch, and our Marcella Raymond caught up with the Lawn Rangers. Pushing your mower, you're pushing your mower. Ready? The Lawn Rangers started 28 years ago in tiny Arcola, Illinois, but now they've hit the big time, a spot in the inaugural parade. Hey! Hey! We're the comic relief. We like to think of ourselves as the president's court jesters. Okay. <laughs> they claim the new president loves them. It's a mutual feeling. We push lawnmowers, and he could have just come up and grabbed a lawnmower, but Barack, he grabbed the toilet plunger, which is emblematic of the leadership role of the Lawn Rangers, and that's when we knew he had leadership potential. That's right. Uh, that's right. Yeah. He's the yeah. Obama marched with the Lawn Rangers in Chicago's St. Patrick's Day Parade in 2003. They think being with them propelled him into higher office. One more time. One more time. Their moves are legendary. I'm a little skeptical until Bruce Radcliffe shows me some of his fancy footwork, minus the mower, which is still making its way here. At a recent fundraiser in LaGrange, they showed off their patriotic wares. This one, a tribute to another famous president from Illinois. Just for Barack Obama, I have specially designed mine to look like a Lincoln penny, but instead of uh, Lincoln, uh, it's Barack Obama on it. Had a professional artist uh, do it with a uh, Sharpie. They're a bunch of goofballs, two generations of them. <laughs> who've been lucky enough to turn a hobby into, well, a national treasure. <laughs> now they're hoping to parlay this appearance into a beer endorsement. Ready? Brooms up! In the meantime, they'll just practice in the streets of D.C., Perfecting their moves, hoping this truly is their big break. Thank you, Marcella Raymond. And you know what? I guarantee you, the Lawn Rangers will be one of the big hits of this parade, which starts at 4th Street, uh, makes its way. Pennsylvania Avenue continues past Freedom Plaza to 15th Street, and then winds up at the White House. And along the way, WGN's Bob Jordan standing by waiting for it. Bob? That's right. We are right here, Mark, and have been here all day. You know, Marcella earlier talked about how this has been such a friendly crowd, such a happy crowd, and it truly has been. She said that someone described it as being like Woodstock, and it certainly has been. I had a guy walk up to me not too long ago and say, have you eaten? I said, no. He said, here, have a granola bar. And so, I mean, that's just the, the way the crowd has been. They're waiting patiently for the parade to begin, and we expect it to uh, get underway very